Hi, GG of um, the BoringTrader.com website. Uh, usual video uh, about last week's performance of the 15 minutes breakout system. Uh, I'm told that people prefer to listen to videos and watch videos rather than reading a blog. Don't quite understand why. Probably it's because of my uh, Mario Draghi's accent. But anyway, here we are. Um, was a, a good week uh, again a little strange every week has its own nuances and, and, and differences um, all the trade management styles uh, work pretty well uh, interesting to see uh, is the blue line uh, which is the um, one to one uh, risk reward basically if you missed Monday uh, you would have missed the whole profits uh, that sort of management style uh, one to one would have done basically nothing uh, mo uh, after Monday so if like me on Monday you couldn't trade uh, that particular uh, style uh, would have been flat and that basically because volatility drained out after Monday for some reasons uh, there was a little bit, so if you were opting for a 0 0.5 to 1 reward risk uh, ratio, you would have had a, a pretty steady curve on the upside. The cumulative uh, trade management comparison, the equity curve in general, is pretty good. I, I really like it. So it's, it's going really, very, really, very well provided that you can trade it, of course. And, um, you know, everybody's trying to find excitement where they can. And uh, one of my uh, races that I'm looking at in this self-isolating period is, uh, is the one-to-one -one management style performing better than the 0 0.5 to one. And uh, it looks as if after uh, a little bit of lead, uh, the 0 0.5 to 1 has regained the lead uh, just. How exciting. Well, a uh, couple of points. I'm going to make it very short this week. If you, we look at the uh, time of the day pattern, this week was interesting because you can see here from, 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 from this chart that not only trading in the morning would be a waste of time, would also be a waste of money, would have been a waste of money at this particular, um, in this particular week. Uh, concentrating your focus uh, on shorter hour uh, between 11, let's say, and, and, and 3 o'clock uh, would have given all the profits, basically, and, and would have s s saved you from, uh, from quite some losses. This is just last week. If you look at the cumulative performance, the, the time of the day, uh, we still um, have some scope for trading in the morning, but it's getting sl uh, weaker and weaker. And um, this period, we've seen it last week, 11 to 12, is, is going quite well in this couple of weeks, uh, uh, but it's still quite low on this uh, chart. Uh, but things are changing. Some of the things that are not changing uh, are this. The end of the day and especially the afternoon, uh, the system works better. And the system works better if the volatility is particularly high or higher than usual. And um, uh, uh, there's no other way to put it. In the morning, the European markets are waiting for the US markets to say something and, and take some lead. The other thing I want to show is this chart of the instrument performance. These are the instruments we are trading, basically. And you can notice something quite um, interesting. The best performers have been EY and EA. And um, this is quite strange because EA is our worst performer uh, since we began this blog eight weeks ago. So this is, this is 
completely different from, from the usual patterns. Uh, I would like to use this to show how important it is to keep as much diversification as possible. Uh, because let's say that you, on the basis of this general uh, instrument performance, you would drop, which is quite understandable, you would drop trading EA. Well, your performance this week would have been probably 3R worse off than if you were taken all of them. But let's be more radical. Let's say that uh, because of any reason, maybe because you don't have enough capital or whatever, uh, you just decide to take a strategy of picking the two best performers uh, and just trading them. Forget about the rest, you just trade them. Well, this week you would have had a loss. So again, the message to uh, get home is if you can try to diversify as much as possible. I'm not gonna mention anything else at the moment. Uh, um, if you have any questions, uh, please ask. <laughs>